Hello guys, welcome back to Cora. Um, about two months ago, I introduced to you guys about our OBD2 with adapters. And today, I'm going to do it again. But don't worry, I don't want to waste your time. I want to do it again just because our product has upgraded. Yeah, let me show you. Okay, so here is the package and you can see our logo here. And when we open it, so here you can see the inside, you can see the adapter, another one adapter, the cable, and the OBD2 is over here. Okay, let me take them out. Okay, now you can see all the stuff here. Uh, you can see the cable, OBD2, and the adapters. Uh, this is the new part, a new cable. Yeah, we customized this cable, yeah. And uh, it's more beautiful, right? Uh, I will put the picture of the old one so you can see the difference. Uh, this end is used to connect to the OBD2, just like this. And you can see the label here, uh, OBD2 to battery. And on the other side, you can see our company's logo. On the other end, you can see that there are two connectors here. One of them is for connecting to the power source. And one of them is for connecting to the adapter. Oh, here you can see a little tab. So when you want to pull it out, you should uh, press the tab first. Then you can pull it out. Of course, the connectors are foolproof, so you don't have to worry about plug them in the wrong place. Also, it has two adapters. The 22 pin is for ZE0, and the 36 pin is for AZE0, Z1, and e 200. Okay, I will put the link in the description below so you can check more details there. And don't worry, even though the product has upgraded, uh, the price is the same as before. Okay, right now, let me show you how to use it to check the battery. Uh, this is the battery for AZE0. So we were going to use this 36 pin adapter to connect the battery. So we just uh, plug this OBD2 right over here right? and we can just uh, use this to connect the battery. Then uh, we will use this cable. So we use the black one to connect the negative and the red one to connect the positive. And uh, we can use the new spy to check the battery. So right now we can see AHR 180. Eh? SOH 100%, HX 97%, and the voltage now is 395 volt. The voltage difference is 23 millivolt, and the temperature right now is 22 degrees Celsius. Good. And this is the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack for ZE0. So we are going to use this. 22 pin adapter to test the battery. So just connect to the battery and connect to the power source. Then we can check the NIF spy. So we can see the SOH is 99%, HX 97%, voltage now is 395 volt. The voltage difference is 25 millivolt, and the temperature right now is 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, good.